mustard in that tart? No way. Stewed sea prunes? Help yourself. <laughs> Dad could eat a whole barrel of these things. Ugh. Bato, is it true you and Dad lassoed an arctic hippo? It was your father's idea. He just dragged me along. Well, the hippo did the dragging. Hey, I ride animals too. One time there was this giant eel and So I... who was it that came up with the great blubber fiasco? You knew about that? Everyone does. What's that story? It's a long one, Aang. Some other time. You and Dad had so many hilarious adventures. Not all of which were hilarious at the time, but everything's funny with hindsight. Aang! Please put that down. It's ceremonial and very fragile. We'll celebrate a new Avatar Day in honor of the day Avatar Aang saved us from the rough rhino invasion. What is this? That's our new festival food. Unfried dough. May we eat it and be reminded of how on this day the Avatar was not boiled in oil. Yeah! Happy Avatar Day, everyone! This is by far the worst town we've ever been to. I'll need more than basic firebending to defeat him. You will teach me the advanced set! Very well. But first, I must finish my roast duck. Um. <laughs> Come on, Momo, that's fair. Appa's got five stomachs. Oh, May! Aunt Wu says I'm going to meet my true love. He's going to give me a rare panda lily. That's so romantic. I wonder if my true love will give me a rare flower. Good luck with that. <laughs> Is that the big ear guy who Aunt Wu predicted you'd marry? <laughs> Enjoy your snack. <laughs> Welcome, young travelers. Now, who's next? Don't be shy. Guess that's me. Not bad, not bad. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm? I'm good on puffs. Hmm. So, what do you think they're talking about back there? Boring stuff, I'm sure. Love, who she's gonna marry, how many babies she's gonna have. Yeah, dumb stuff like that. Well, I gotta find a bathroom. <laughs> Oh, good. Can you help me carry this back to the room? It's a little heavy. Actually, I can't right now. What do you mean you can't? I promised the girls I'd give them a ride on Appa. Why don't you come with us? It'll be fun. Watching you show off for a bunch of girls does not sound like fun. Well, neither does carrying your basket. It's not my basket. These supplies are for our trip. I told you we have to leave Kiyoshi soon. I don't want to leave Kiyoshi yet. I can't put my finger on it, but there's something I really like about this place. <laughs> What's taking you so long, Angie? Angie. Just a second, Coco. Simple monk, huh? I thought you promised me this Avatar stuff wouldn't go to your head. It didn't. You know what I think? You just don't want to come because you're jealous. Jealous? Of what? Jealous that we're having so much fun without you. That's ridiculous. It is a little ridiculous, but I understand. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you made a new friend, Sokka. Can't talk. Must eat. Hey, little guy. Hungry? Don't worry, I'm going to feed you too. But not yet. 
First, I'm going to show you how you'll earn it. When you perform, the hoops will be flaming. And if you are careful, you won't get burned. You're about to be sorry. It's obvious that whoever your previous owner was, he had no idea how to handle you properly. I'm gonna go get a bag of sizzle crisps. Stay here and stay away from that monster. Behave yourself or you'll regret it. People in my city have gotten fat from too many feasts, so I hope you like your chicken with no skin. Thanks, but I don't eat meat. How about you? I bet you like meat. Mm. Is it just me, or is this guy's crown a little crooked? So tell me, young bald one, where are you from? I'm from Kangaroo Island. Oh, Kangaroo Island, eh? I hear that place is really hopping. <laughs> <laughs> what? It was pretty funny. <sighs> well, all these good jokes are making me tired. Guess it's time to hit the hay. There's an airbender in our presence, and not just any airbender, the Avatar. <laughs> now, what do you have to say for yourself, Mr. Pippin Paddleopsicopolis? But the true secret is in the gooey center. Hmm. My ancient cake-making technique isn't the only thing on your mind, is it, Ang? This whole Avatar thing. Maybe the monks made a mistake. The only mistake they made was telling you before you turned 16. But we can't concern ourselves with what was. We must act on what is. But Gyatso, how do I know if I'm ready for this? Your questions will be answered when you're old enough to enter the Air Temple Sanctuary. Inside you will meet someone who will guide you on your journey. Who is it? When you are ready, he will reveal himself to you. Mm. Now, are you going to help me with these cakes or not? All right. One, two, three. <laughs> Your aim has improved greatly, my young pupil. How you like that possum chicken? Tastes just like Arctic hen. So why are you guys so interested in eating opera? You've got plenty of those big things wandering around. You want me to eat old Slim? He's like a member of the family. <laughs> nice, Slim. <laughs> oh, oh, he don't eat no bugs. That's people food. Where'd you say you was from? The South Pole. Didn't know they was waterbenders anywhere but here. They got a nice swamp there, do they? 
No, it's all ice and snow. Hmm, no wonder you left. Well, I hope you realize now that nothing strange was going on here. Just a bunch of greasy people living in a swamp. What about the visions? I told you we were hungry. I'm eating a giant bug. But what about when the tree showed me where Appa and Momo were? That's Avatar stuff. That doesn't count. The only thing I can't figure out is how you made the tornado that sucked us down. I can't do anything like that. I just bend the water into plants. Well, no accounting for weather. Still, there's absolutely nothing mysterious about the swamp. All right, dessert for breakfast. These people sure know how to train an avatar. Mmm, Katar, you gotta try these. Well, maybe just a bite. Sokka, what's your problem? Eat. Not hungry. But you're always hungry. He's just upset because a bunch of girls kicked his butt yesterday. They snuck up on me. Right. And then they kicked your butt. Sneak attacks don't count. Tie me up with ropes, and I'll show them a thing or two. I'm not scared of any girls. Who do they think they are, anyway? Hmm. This is tasty. What's he so angry about? It's great here. They're giving us the royal treatment. Hey, don't get too comfortable. It's risky for us to stay in one place for very long. I'm sure we'll be fine. Besides, did you see how happy I'm making this down? They're even cleaning up that statue in my honor. Well, it's nice to see you excited about being the Avatar. I just hope it doesn't all go to your head. Come on, you know me better than that. I'm just a simple monk. Blow on it. It's too hot for her. Allow me. Oh, my. Avatar Aang, it's an honor to have you visit us. In your opinion, how much longer do you think the war will last? I'd like to defeat the Fire Lord by the end of summer, but I can't do that without finding an earthbending teacher first. Well, Master Yu is the finest teacher in the land. He's been teaching Toph since she was little. Then she must be a great earthbender. Probably good enough to teach someone else. Ow! Toph is still learning the basics. Yes, and sadly, because of her blindness, I don't think she will ever become a true master. Oh, I'm sure she's better than you think she is. Shall we move to the living room for dessert, then? Aw, oh, you babies can go a day without food. Would you rather be hungry or dead? Now we're heading down in 10 minutes. All food better be in your gut or in the garbage. I'd steer clear of the sea prunes. I thought they were ocean kumquats. Close enough. Who wants five flavors soup? You're a waterbender. I've never met another waterbender from our tribe. That's because the Fire Nation wiped them all out. Care for some meat? Would I? <laughs> I know what you must be thinking. We're horrible for endangering everybody by bringing food down here. Uh-huh. The Ganjin think so badly of us, they probably assumed we brought food in and decided to bring food in themselves. That's why we brought food in. You, me, and Appa. We're all that's left of this place. We have to stick together. Katara, Sokka, say hello to the newest member of our family. What are you going to name him? <laughs> Momo. <laughs> Would you care for some bread, Katara? So it was you guys who had food. Oh, come now. You really think that tribe of thieves isn't smuggling food? Why should my people go hungry when the sneaky Zhangs are stuffing their faces? Well, 
I guess it's okay if everyone's doing it. Did you hear the news? The Avatar's on Kyoshi! Huh? The Avatar's on Kyoshi Island? Uncle, ready the rhinos. He's not getting away from me this time. Are you going to finish that? I was going to save it for later. He's taking all the good stuff. Quiet, you don't know what I had to do to get seats this near the bear. trapped inside these. I don't know. Suit yourself. It's very thirst quenching though. Drink cactus juice. It'll quench you. Nothing's quenchier. It's the quenchiest. Okay, I think you've had enough. Who lit Toph on fire? So, papaya. Uh-huh. Would you like some? You know me. I don't really care what I eat. Okay then. See you later. <laughs> Maybe aloof isn't my style. I don't see anything wrong with having one of those fruity beverages while we plan our strategy. Excuse me. Today, we struck another blow against the Fire Nation swine. <laughs> I got a special joy from the look on one soldier's face when the Duke dropped down on his helmet and rode him like a wild hog monkey. <laughs> now, the Fire Nation thinks they don't have to worry about a couple of kids hiding in the trees. Maybe they're right. Oh, or maybe they are dead wrong. Where did you get these? What does it matter where they came from? Good. It's perfect. I'm telling you. I don't know if I like the sound of that swishing. Swishing means it's ripe. It's the ripe juices swishing around, huh? I think it's true, Katara. Swishing means it's ripe. I just realized we're out of money anyway. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay, you caught me. I'm the Avatar. Doing my Avatar thing? Keeping the world safe. Everything checks out. No firebenders here. So, good work, everybody. Love each other, respect all life, and don't run with your spears. We'll see you next time. You can't keep us here. Let us leave. Let us leave? Hi there, Sokka, Southern Water Tribe. Very nice to meet you. So, uh, you're a princess, huh? You know, back in my tribe, I'm kind of like a prince myself. Uh, prince of what? A lot of things. Uh, do you mind? I'm trying to have a conversation here. My apologies, Prince Sokka. So it looks like I'm going to be in town for a while. I'm thinking maybe we could do an activity together? Do an activity? Yeah. <laughs> Very smooth.